Under the sea, life can be a deadly game of hide and seek. Here are some of Love Nature's favorite masters of disguise. With its colorful appearance, this coral wall may seem ordinary, but look carefully and you might spot a familiar someone blending well into his surroundings. A great seahorse, trying to remain inconspicuous, hangs out by the reef. His deep purple body tone matches the coral so well, most predators would never know he was even there. One of the world's largest, great seahorses can grow up to 11 inches tall. He's not the tiniest of the bunch, but he can still hide with the best of them. A prehensile tail allows him to grab onto things and stay in place. Seahorses just tend to float through the water. His dorsal fin in the back flaps 70 times a second, as fast as a hummingbird's wings. Pectoral fins behind the gills help him steer as the current takes him on a passive ride. Gripping onto a patch of purple coral, this new backdrop suits him quite nicely. While some hide to avoid danger, others are the danger. Disguising himself within a coral garden on the sea floor, this bearded scorpion fish waits patiently. His spine contains a deadly venom, which he injects into predators who dare come near him. But this is mainly a defense mechanism. He attacks as an ambush predator. So long as he keeps still, unsuspecting prey passing by are unlikely to spot him. Ah, fish sticks. He missed. His would-be meal proved to be fast food, and so it appears he'll have to keep playing the waiting game. But don't worry, it's what he's good at. Not all masters of disguise are born with a costume. Some have to fashion one themselves. This orangutan crab gets its name from the shaggy red coat it flaunts. But it doesn't come with a coat, it actually designs one by fastening fibers of living algae onto tiny hooks along its body. That's why these guys are fondly referred to as decorator crabs. But as a crustacean, its skin must molt. And as it molts, all that hard work goes down the drain. But like any crafty decorator, the orangutan crab has a thrifty solution. It reuses. Once it's free of the dead molted skin, it picks off the bits of red algae and refastens them to its fresh skin. The algae will then grow into a brand new shaggy red coat, which it can use for another couple weeks. Some coats are just too on fleek to leave behind. The ocean can be a dangerous place. To survive, the ability to camouflage can hide weaknesses, mask vulnerability, and allow you to use the element of surprise to your advantage. Peekaboo!